Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at an FN Reflex. Launched April 2023 at the NRA show. I remember that time I was there, a lot of people were there, a lot of excitement with the FN Reflex. The FN's launch into the subcompact, double stack, 9mm handgun, crowded market that it has become. And people were very much excited about it. I liked the features. I haven't shot it, but I, th I said that that's got some nice features to it i like the grip that fn has it's got those lined bumps in the rear in the front strap and then some nice texturing on the side panels it ships with a 11 and a 15 round mag with the 11 round mag inserted you get three finger contact feels good fn you know they do a good job with their ergonomics not awesome, but pretty good. And then a 15 round mag. And with that inserted, you get a full size grip. It it looks goofy. All right, you can see how that just kind of keeps going with the 3.3 inch barrel. But if you throw this one in the pocket and you carry with the 11 round mag, you're toting around some serious firepower. And if you need it, nobody cares how it looks. But it's actually a hammer-fired gun. So it has an internal hammer there. It is a cocked hammer. So to cock the hammer, it has to be all the way charged back each time. And it will. And when I got this, I looked at the trigger and I felt it. And the FN website says five, uh, four and a half to five and a half pounds. I'm, I'm measuring this under four pounds. And it is really a light trigger with a reset that's not long. Actually, it's rather short right there. But it's very light. I, like under four pounds is what I'm measuring at. So I, it, it varies from gun to gun. All trigger poundage weights do. But this one, I, I'm thinking it's under four pounds. No doubt about it. Forward serration. It does have an accessory rail right there. And also the sight picture, you're looking at a tritium front dot. And two dots in the rear. That is your iron sight picture, but it's also optic ready. Now, it's got to fit an RMS footprint. So you're looking at the House and K series, Vortex Defenders, any of those footprints out there, it will work with the FN Reflex. They did a nice job. I think it has a great feel to it. And that trigger is very light. It's available in black like this or... Flat Dark Earth or Coyote Tan. I'm not sure. I like the black a little better. The other one is very bright. <laughs> it's, it just is. But if you look at this and you measure it up with a P365 with the 3.1 inch barrel, the weight is actually a little bit lighter. I'm going to get it on the scale and that's the difference with the slide length. All right, point two inches longer with the 3.3 inch barrel with the FN Reflex on the left. The grip is very similar. Now the SIG has a 12 round mag opposed to the 11 round mag with the FN Reflex, but it is a little bit heavier. Maybe it's that mag going a little bit further down. I don't know. Let's go ahead and disassemble it. We'll show clear here and we'll like to slide back this lever here we're just going to push it upward and then off comes the slide from the frame polymer frame very light and then we have actually a dual recoil spring there are two springs in there with a metal guide rod and the 3.3 inch barrel very lightweight we're going to get it on the scale in just a minute the reassemble process is pretty simple, but you have to kind of punch it in there to get around that recoil spring. But we'll get it on the scale. The FN Reflex unloaded is weighing in at one pound, one and seven eighths ounces, only ounces. This time it's 17 and three quarters. But here we have 11 rounds. And we have 22 and three eighths. 
he will bring it with the carry around 22 and three quarters just for fun let's take the sig p365 which is also unloaded and we'll see it's a little bit heavier than the fn reflex 23 and 7 8 so essentially 24 ounces with the p365 599 msrp probably mid 500s Maybe five and a quarter for the FN Reflex. Nice overall package. Would I chase after this? Probably not. I, I like some other ones, and we can argue that it, it may have been late to the game or anything. I don't. I don't think that's the case at all. I think there's more than enough room for double stack nine millimeter subcompact handguns. But the fact that it is hammer fired is a bit different. Kind of sets it apart from the rest. But overall, FN did a pretty fine job with this, and I, I would be very interested to know who owns this, what you think of it, if you love it, if you think it's great, if you carry it, or if you passed on it because you had something else that fit that void. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.